Let's talk about this very strange fossil called a climactic night. These types of fossils have only been found in a few select areas of North America, including Quebec and Ontario in Canada, as well as Missouri, New York, Wisconsin, and Texas down in the United States. Now, they are quite weird because they don't at all look like an animal, and that's generally what most people think of when they think of fossils or perhaps leaves or footprints. So we for a long time had no clue what this was. Here is a much larger specimen and you can see that they're just these kind of long tracks crisscrossing across this rock specimen. Some early hypotheses were thought that they were perhaps a chain of zooplankton or a siphonophore or a salp or perhaps a big chunk of algae. Now, these guys were from the Cambrian period around 510 million years ago. Now, most fossil specimens from this area were from aquatic animals, so it would be underneath the water where pretty much all life at this time was aquatic. But these were found largely underwater, but also on what would be the surface around like beaches and coastlines in this above the water. So currently, one of the most accepted hypotheses is that these were actually tracks made from early mollusks that were very similar to modern slugs. We have observed modern mollusks making very similar looking tracks, so it is a possibility that these weird looking fossils were made by early mollusks and those early mollusks possibly could have been some of the first animals to make their way onto land leaving only these tracks as evidence. Now, we don't know this for sure. The slugs would have been quite soft-bodied and very, very difficult to fossilize, so no evidence of a early land slug has ever been found so far. But I do think that it is a likely hypothesis and hopefully we'll find something in the future that corroborates or disproves this.